Namaskar. My name is Amitabh Bhattacharya. Uh, I'm in Calcutta, India. Uh, a social entrepreneur. 31 years of experience. Education-wise, uh, an engineer passed out of IIT Kharagpur and uh, Gurukul Shevening Scholar uh, of, from London School of Economics. Ten years I was in software, returned from Silicon Valley, US in 1999 and then started Banglanatak.com, a social enterprise focusing on culture and development. How the rural traditional culture can alleviate people out of poverty, how it can move towards an inclusive development. And slowly, with time in 20 years, what we see is that when pride and recognition returns, and when the socio-economic gain happens in traditional artistic communities, then they come forward, participate in development, and the village, the artist, and the art form get vibrant, the art form gets safeguarded, the artists are on their own and overall it's really a holistic development. Starting North Bengal we get Bhavaya, the music of North Bengal. It's a wonderful music. It's a music of daily lifestyle. It's a music talking about the the essence of daily life. When husbands go out to work, women wait anxiously when their husbands are coming back, when they're returning. When there is flood, what is the disaster? What is the trauma people go through? All these were part of, are part of Bhava. Yeah, there are almost 4,000 practice saying Hawaii singers in Alipur, Duar, Jalpaiguri, Kujbihar districts. These are all, you can say, forest fringe areas and called doers. We have doers and hills in North Bengal. Coming to hills, Darj the Darjeeling, Kalimpong, uh, these are basically the Himalayas uh, foothills and uh, there are 16 communities, the indigenous communities which have their own traditional art and culture and they have their lovely music too and the indigenous instruments and everything. When we come to middle of Bengal, we see the music has changed. There the primary music we see the Baul music. The Bauls of Bengal, one can say is the soul of Bengal. Now, uh, uh, Baul's basically, like unlike other folk music, Baul is not a lifestyle music. It is a music with philosophy. It is not a religious music, but it is a spiritual music. It talks about crossing the barrier. It talks about no barrier of religion, no barrier of caste, class. It is rather, it talks about respect, our opinion include all and it's a music of brotherhood. To me, it is a music of democracy, it is a music of socialism and uh, music of mankind celebrating the pluralism and cultural diversity. There are almost 2,300 practicing vows in five districts of Bengal in the middle of Bengal. Nadia, Murshidabad, Birbhum, Bordhaman and Bankula. If I come to south of Bengal, we see Bhatiali, the music of river, music of boat. And there, again, it's a lifestyle music. Your boat travels, you don't know when they will come back. The enjoyment with the 
enjoyment and the turmoil with the nature. And that is exactly the Bhakti Ali music. There are almost about 100 Bhakti Ali singers. Uh, with the motorized boat, now you don't get to hear that music in the boat anymore. But the community still practices, enjoys and leaves it at its leisure time. Coming to the west of West Bengal, which is primarily again a forest fringe areas and also the indigenous people again, the Santals and other indigenous people. There you get to see the Jhumur, the music, the song and dance. And also it's it's used to be known as Chokanatu Plateau. And also we see the Chow dance, the Chow, the mass dance. In 2011, uh, UNESCO accredited that with the masterpiece heritage of the world. So, and even Baul got it in 2008. It was a shared heritage between Bangladesh and uh, India. Uh, more or less, one can actually uh, uh, talk about these are the musical. And uh, from the handicraft side and the other culture side, uh, I'll say uh, Dokra, which is the um, uh, metal. Uh, that's a very traditional uh, uh, space uh, that few artists, they live in Bordhuma and Bangura. That's one of the primary ones. Patachitra, the scroll painters, they still use natural color. That's the beauty. There were eight artists in 2004. Now there are 352 artists. I think that's something is very essential to understand that this is... Uh, no. What is our initiative? Our initiative, as I said, that you know, we are primarily focused on how to save these traditional art forms, but saving is not by us, rather by the community. So that means how to empower these communities to come forward with their traditional art and culture. And uh, when we do that, uh, so what we do? When we go to a community, uh, we try to build their capacity, we link them directly to the market. Directly, it is a very important word, so that there is no one in between. And then thirdly, we do a lot of exchange collaboration and then we plant a village festival in their villages celebrating their art and culture uh, uh, and it should be calendarized. And that's how since 2004 we were started working but the village festivals we started planting in 2010. We work primarily in West Bengal, Western Rajasthan, the desert, where there are beautiful musicians and art forms, and traditional art forms, and uh, come to Goa. So these three places will be happy to host collaborations. High potential rural artist communities have not developed the business tools to engage markets, resulting in slow death of their unique art forms. Banglanatuk.com's Art for Life program proven in West Bengal transforms artist communities into thriving micro-enterprises, impacting artist, art form and district. Nine years after inception of Art for Life, in 2013, the Department of MSME, Government of West Bengal, adopted Art for Life and partnered with UNESCO to develop 10 rural craft hubs benefiting 3,000 rural traditional handicraft artists across 10 districts of West Bengal. The success of the project led to expansion of the initiative to rural craft and cultural hubs involving an additional 12,000 beneficiaries across 15 districts of West Bengal. 26 art form transformations have had 100% success, doubling artists, primarily impacting and empowering women, increasing income two and a half times and reducing migrations. Low income art forms shrunk from 38% to 15%, while high income grew from nothing to 26%. More than 90% of artists now have a bank account. More than half have a new or renovated house. 77% of these with sanitation and 100% electrified. Almost every artist is formally trained on the art form. 30% are digitally aware and 38% of the next generation are now proud of and involved in the art form. The village is now a hub for international workshops and collaborations and six art forms have geographical indication status. Tourism is now an integral part of the program.
West Bengal will cross 1 lakh artists. Goa will establish a responsible tourism model. Rajasthan will expand tourism through rural hubs.